Hi hey there, uh, Mark Verheer here, and this is a video on the PC64 emulator. Um, I just made a video on the C64S emulator, which was very easy to use, and it ran on even 386 systems at full speed, at some 386 systems. Um, it's its uh, counterpart, or its rival, direct rival was PC64, which also was running on DOS, but it was very elaborate. It had a windowing system, um, it had a ton of possibilities, but it was just very difficult to get your head around. And uh, for some reason, I never got it to run with my sound card, and uh, it's been like, well, over, over, over uh, uh, 20 years even <laughs> since I last ran this. Um, I guess, or maybe 20 years ago that I last ran this and um, yeah, not sure what to think of it, but it I, I was a fan of uh, C64S and I'm very curious whether or not I'll become a fan of PC64. I remember not getting the sound to work and it being quite convoluted to me, but for some people this really must have been the most awesome um, emulator in the world, but to me it was not so much, but perhaps if people can show me how to properly use it, um, enlighten me, I say, but this is my experience running this after 20 years, and yeah. Okay, back again, and this time with uh, an emulator, PC64, which is a, um, I'm not sure what is going on actually, but uh, yeah, PC64, that is uh, uh, an emulator uh, of the Commodore 64. And it was a very, very uh, specific emulator with a nice interface that reminded me of Turbo Pascal. Well, that's what I recall, because the last time I, I ran this must have been around 95, 96, I guess. There's a P64 PIF. Uh, program information file that is something that you would find on the on the on Windows 95. But let's see if it still runs. So yeah, I was I was right about the uh, about the uh, Turbo Pascal interface. I think this must have been written in in Turbo Pascal. I've I've been uh, actually I I did desktop mobile Windows system. I actually did run uh, something um, like this on on, on Turbo Scale as well. I, I did program a 6510 CPU uh, back in Turbo Scale. But let's see if the emulator. Uh, let's see if I can. Um, emulator. And then. Yeah, there's. there's there's tapes and discs. Yeah, not sure. <laughs> it's been a long time. Start. Let's see. Start F5. Manager, emulator, emulator, emulator. No. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that this this is actually my my thing about this emulator that um, for some reason it's um, it's not very straightforward. Oh look, it, it loads the disk. Ah, so it's actually loading my uh, my game. And I'm not sure whether or not this is running correctly, but uh, yeah, there's no sound, is there? Um, bump sprites, zigzag, no, music, watercolors. And these are all 
Okay, so yeah, <laughs> not very straightforward. Let's see if um, manager, if it's possible to, yeah. So basically, uh, manager new, radar's money, PC64, tape files. There's some disk files, test disk, and it takes a bit for it to load, I guess. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I mean, probably this is this is very, uh, very um, elaborate and very cool to use. But for me, it's just uh, it's a bit too convoluted, I guess. But I may I should give it a proper chance, but. So the ROMs are there, sound, sound, ad lib, default for all newer emulator windows, yeah, sure, hardware. Um, it doesn't recognize the ad lib, that's weird. Oh yeah, that's, that, yeah, I remember something like that, that it would not recognize my sound hardware or something. So there must be something, so no, uh, a new emulator, so no temporary file found, a new manager then, yes, and then go back to C64 because there's, and then tapes. Hmm, it doesn't really like to do uh, oh man help and help contents let's so select a desk yeah I mean as there's just I mean, it's it's a very cool emulator with a lot of features, but for me, I just wanted to you know to get it up and running and play a game. And as you can see, probably with this um, with this uh, shell, uh, it wasn't really. Ah, here we go back. Uh, manager, no clone. Open. C sixty four. No. So that's an emulator. So let's try a new emulator. New. Okay. And let's open. No, that's uh, manager, search, run, options, file, save and exit. Yes, override file. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> um, oh, yes. Oh man, original, okay. Oh, holy crap, cancel. And we'll keyboard. Yeah, and then keyboard. None. Uh, auto fire, none. Oh, drives okay let's see if i can d64 file test disk okay uh-huh pal yeah so there's no sound i guess but really weird run start ah, okay Load, let's see if I can, oh, the key, the keys are mapped to something completely different. There's a, a weird key map. Ah. <laughs> Holy crap. Let me see if I can, if I can uh, load in a directory. Yes. And then 
comma height. Okay. So it's it's a bit sluggish. Let's see if I can speed it up a little. Okay, so this probably is more, um, let me see, Gallagher. Okay, list. So eventually it is possible uh, to uh, start the flash return, one player, joystick. Yeah, I'm not sure whether... Uh, there it is, and then I remember being it being a very weird key. Ah, it's control key. So, so no sound and uh, no border, but it is. But it does work. It also works. And you know, I have very little information about this. Uh, I mean, it, it was the other emulator that I didn't use uh, that much because I, I had a hard time getting it to run, and I remember doing actually similar things right now than I used to do before. Whoops. But yeah, uh, let me see. Yeah, if you press escape, you uh, uh, reset. Yes. I really like the, the, the windows, the window. Um, let me see, and then ex exit and see if I can Whoops. Close. Uh, drives. Yeah, let's see if I can if I can put it in a different um, look. and then run start. So it's not, the keys are not mapped, the keys are not mapped to um, to reflect the Commodore 64 keyboard layout. It actually maps to the PC keyboard. So you don't have to, yeah, it's, it's different. I mean, if you are keen on typing in a similar way, similar fashion as on the Commodore 64, it will not work. One nine. Oops. Okay, comma eight. So probably there's no done cracking service. Let's press space now. Really curious uh, how the SIPS emulation is, but uh, ah, look at here. Uh, so scrolling and interrupts are not not properly implemented, I guess. Uh, let's see. I, I think I have to change the joysticks. Joystick uh, keyboard none. Ok. Starts. Ah. Well, as you can see, it's. <laughs> The version that I'm used to is not really capable of game playing, so yeah. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's me trying out uh, the PC64 emulation. Uh, probably some people will be mad at me <laughs> because you know I don't know much about this emulator, but this is just my experience from back in the day, and I actually repeat it 16 years later. Um, yeah, in a very similar way. Um, 16 years later no even even longer 20 years later holy crap time flies <sighs> anyways mark signing off and i'll be back with another video soon